What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to another Silent Kong video. If you're new to our channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you never miss a video. Yeah. All right, yeah, you guys. We got a new puppy in the background. Oh, she can't even see him. New puppy in the building. Let's do a quick story time while we're out in the park. New puppy in the building. It's a nice day. We're just chilling. His name is Blizzy with two glizzies, aka Blue. Blizzy with two glizzies. What's up, Blue? Say, what's up, Jutu? Oh, hey. What's up, Jutu? What's up, Jutu? Anyways, guys, yes, we're gonna explain our, uh, what do you call it? Our dog situation? Story time, dog Story situation. Time? Yeah. Yep. It's a long one. Oh, yep. But we're gonna try to keep it as. Keep it. We're gonna try to keep it. We're gonna try to keep it as, as short, short as we can. If you've seen our video where we introduced Pumpkin and Nezco, um, yes, we no longer have neither Pumpkin nor Nezco. Uh, a lot happened, but I guess just to kind of keep things short and simple, um, Pumpkin had really bad separation anxiety. Um, he was our first puppy as like a couple together that we, you know, yeah, got got and raised and or started to raise together and he went through a lot with us. <laughs> um, he went from our first home with us here in Henderson to our second home. Um, and he was having, he already when we moved to the big home was having separation anxiety issues. Um, and we spend a lot of time at work. Um, actually, the majority of our day is at work. We leave really early in the morning. Yeah. Um, and we just didn't think that it was, it was going to be productive for us to be able to do all the things we had to do at work and then also take him with us. Yeah. So at the very beginning stages, he used to go to work with us pretty frequently. But then as we moved, that started to become less and less of a thing. Um, so he was home and he was having pretty bad separation issues. Uh, for us, we're like, man, what do we do? You know? Yeah. And stupidly, I had the idea that, you know, he just needed a companion, a friend, someone yeah. to be home with him. So, um, uh, our genius idea of getting a second puppy. Yeah. But a total opposite of Pumpkin, not a French Bulldog. Yeah. I went with hella energy hella hyped and needed a lot of attention. Yeah, so then we got Nezco. Um, and I wanted a, an Australian Shepherd just because um, they're really smart dogs. They're yeah. really beautiful. And they also uh, are really good family dogs, right? Um, I figured what better way to have a companion for Pumpkin, someone that would help with his separation anxiety, but also like just add another member to the to family. family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it was hard. <laughs> yeah. It was it was really hard with two puppies, and they were both so drastically different. Um, but they adapted to each other really well. Yeah, they, they got along. They who was like play fight all day, every day. Literally nonstop, all the time, almost twenty four seven. You yeah. can let them in the living room, and they would lay down for maybe like two seconds, and then yeah. they would start going at it again. Or they would be side eyeing the other one, like any time <laughs> they'd move to see if they were trying to attack them or yeah. not. It was just, it like was this, funny, but it was it was nonstop. It was like that we got, they got beef <laughs> every day. Um, but that didn't stop uh, Pumpkins like heavy social what is it? separation. Oh, separation, that, yeah. Yeah, um, pumpkin separation anxiety started to like increasingly get worse and worse. Um, even though he had Nesco, like he really needed needed us. Like, yeah. He really needed human, more human attention, more human interaction. And like I said, because we were so busy, or because we are so busy, it was just it was hard to give him what he needed all the time. And so it got to the point where he would just like not eat his food he yeah. would curl up in a ball and like tremble when we were home and like it, it got to the point where we were so worried that we might have to take him to the vet because we thought he was like ge we genuinely thought he was sick yeah and then after like spending time with him or like you know 
talking to him for maybe like 20 30 minutes while he was curled up in a ball like and giving him the things he wanted he was perfectly fine yeah it was it was crazy it was like the that's the crazy thing i think i've ever experienced just because we were so concerned about yeah. what do we do what happened what why what could have happened because they were always home um a serious discussion about you know even though it was going to be a hard thing for us to do um it, and it was very very hard it was a hard decision to make but it was an even harder process for us than i think even we anticipated honestly um but we made the decision to rehome pumpkin um to someone that we know and that we trust um and you know we would still be able to see him occasionally yeah. from time to time, see how he's doing, see how he's growing. We actually did just see him maybe about a week or two ago, and he's so big. Yeah, it's so it's crazy. crazy. We can even insert a picture. Into the video to show how big he is, but he's grown so much, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, so we made a decision to rehome yeah. him. Uh, we thought that it would be best for him to have someone who can dedicate that time that he needed um, to to just be better yeah someone who has the ability to give him the attention he desires or needs uh to make pumpkin a happy dog because besides that he was a like very good dog by bias because <laughs> he was our first ever puppy uh, together so that will always be like a spot in my heart for him yeah yeah it was hard like i literally spent the first two weeks that he was gone yeah. like crying like yeah it was tough. the first couple of days it was like non-stop crying and then like as time went on it was just like random like random crying at home like yeah and and we still had nesco so like we were trying to do our best to give Nesco what she needed because she was also going through like separation of not having Pumpkin there with her anymore. Like from going from like being a puppy to having him there all the time to like now he's no longer there. Like that was also hard for her. Like as hard as it was for us, it was also hard for her. So, um, you know, we, we did try to keep that in mind and like do everything we could to give Nesco everything that she needed. Um, from us when we were moving in the midst of like us moving out of our old home to get ready to move over to our new home um Nesco did get out she got out of our side gate uh, I'm not sure if you even showed the side gate area when you did the tour uh, dang, I don't remember um but yeah we had a, a side gate and it wasn't the best gate it's kind of yeah. all gates in vegas are kind of the same it's kind of like that one actually it's like a mini door behind yeah, us you see behind us it's like that where except it's, a lot smaller it's not really like secure like a, a simple like tap can like unlock the gate and just kind of swing open on its own yeah but mind you like pumpkin and Nesco played in the backyard uh plenty of times together and like they had gotten out on one occasion on a really windy day which was a traumatizing experience for us yeah, but like because they booked it like it was like a split second they're there and the next moment they're gone and like yeah. they're gone so far that they were like across the main street it's crazy yeah it was it was pretty nuts um yeah so she she did get out uh when we were moving from our old house to our new house and like we did everything we could like we drove around that day we were looking for her we i even still till this day check like the animal foundation here in las vegas to see if she's been listed on their site to see if anyone's found her you know she just happened to get out that day and it's it really was like our loss yeah and you know it's been really hard and we struggled with the idea of like going from a home with pets and i mean obviously we already have kids right so going from a home that's so like it would get chaotic at times but it was always full like it was always busy yeah the house was always busy and like Kinda, we just got yeah it, it was a good busy <laughs> we just got so used to living that way that like when we had moved and we didn't have any of the dogs and it was just us and the kids like it was just eerily quiet like it was yeah. just really hard to get used to and like we would look at each other and we're like what the hell? yeah like, we have all this time but like now what do we do yeah like, 
it, it's hard to go back from living life like with pets to like Without. living life with with none. Yeah. Fast forward four months uh, of not having a, a puppy in our household, and during those four months, we talked heavily about considering getting a a new puppy. I guess you would call it. We had the conversation, we're like, hey, is this right? Should we do it? You know, part of us is was really worried about going through the same things that we went through last time. So we really were like, had to analyze like where we were with things and figure out like, is this the best choice for us? And can we commit to giving a dog everything that it's going to need from us? Yeah. You know, I think with Pumpkin, that was the biggest lesson was like, we should have not that we should have but we we should have planned yeah we should have planned better yeah we, we should have planned better of like we i did a lot of research on frenchies before we had got pumpkin or like when we first got pumpkin and realizing how codependent they are and you know how much that they rely on like their person to like be there take care of them and um i think i really underestimated the fact that like hey he's really gonna need us you know um and so trying to trying to add in another dog to the family was not what he needed he needed us and so like um we yeah we really had that discussion of like we have to change our whole lives for this pet if yeah. we add one to our family you know if we add another dog into our family like because i think with pumpkin it was very apparent that like a frenchie is the kind of dog that we would want to bring into our home they're just they're just they're kind of the perfect dog honestly like yeah. they're very playful they're very energetic but then they're also very mellow but and they're they're just a great companion yeah and uh, i'm hella mellow so like i don't even want a big dog to run around with i just want a dog just chill up on the couch and watch tv yeah after a lot a lot a lot of talking we decided like actually during my birthday weekend we had went to a couple of pet stores and honestly it was just kind of having that like that like loss of like not having one like you just want to see a puppy and play with the puppy and and so that's kind of what we did just because one store happened to be like next to us at the yeah. time uh next to somewhere we went to go eat so like leaving the restaurant we're like oh yeah let's just go in there and so we went in there and like we're, it was just like yeah no yeah. It's, it's time like it's time to add another puppy to our home but we weren't for sure that it would be a Frenchie uh, we had looked at a couple of dogs honestly I was almost sold on a Shiba um, almost, but nah. he, he was the cutest thing and but he was very energetic like very very energetic yeah um and yeah we found blue that weekend yeah I call him Blizzy with two glizzies because, uh, I don't know. He sits like Vin Diesel. His arms are like just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's an interesting, very interesting, um, dog. Dog. <laughs> very playful, also very lazy. Um, fire. Yeah, very attached. Already, yeah. Um, which we knew was gonna happen, but also we've made adjustments. Like, he comes to work with us every single day. Um, like, yeah, he just he's with us all the time. He has a car seat. He has a stroller. He has his leash. He like we literally take him everywhere. Like he's an infant, um, and he is to us. Like that's that's our baby, you know. Um, so you guys will be seeing him a lot yeah um he is with us a lot <laughs> and um yeah we wanted to give you guys a story time um just because we know you guys won't see nesco and pumpkin um yeah. and we thought about it we're like do we address it do we not you know it, it does bring up a lot of like sadness for us to talk about it but then also like I think being asked the question of like what happened where are they um also is hard yeah. um to like explain to people and just because it was literally a matter of months like nesco was gone maybe a month or two after pumpkin yeah um and so like it, it was really hard and yeah we're just trying to do our best to 
to do better for blue but you will see him a lot and yeah yeah now uh i'll b-roll some videos pictures of him because right now he's running around the park yes um but yeah guys quick little story time uh something that we kind of needed to get off our chest so yeah so i expect to see blue in most of our videos um as he's with us pretty much everywhere we go But thanks y'all um, for sitting down and watching this quick story time. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend or week. Um, and please subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video.